In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the best way to power your Sony FX3 or Sony A7S III via external power. At the time of purchasing this camera, even a few months ago, there wasn't really any dedicated video information about this. So I'm gonna share with you what I've learned about this camera and best practices when it comes to powering it externally. Now, if you come from the Reddit forums and so forth, there's a lot of scare posts out there saying people use dummy batteries and they exploded their camera or all this kind of crazy stuff. But this way works and it's the way Sony recommends powering the camera. One of the things I realized after I purchased the Sony FX3, I was thinking I'll get a dummy battery for this. And then I realized there's no port here for the cable to come out of the bottom, which is a huge bummer. I'm so used to using dummy batteries when it comes to other cameras especially the Panasonic GH5 or Panasonic S5 or any other number of camera brands. They all have this little door here with a separate door so you can run the cable out of. But Sony, they don't do that. And I'm sure you can use a Condor dummy battery and then rig all of that up. But the battery door will always be ajar, which isn't ideal. So I believe this way will make the most sense. Sony recommends using a 9 volt 3 amp USB PD power supply. But when you look at the specs, especially on a box like this, for example, it says a whole lot of stuff, including 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 3 amps, 12 volts, 3 amps, 15 volts, 3 amps, 20 volts, 2.25 amps. And you might be thinking, does the camera know exactly how much juice to take? It does. So that's where knowing a little bit about USB PD comes into it. Now, this can vary from unit to unit, but most 45 watt, rated 45 watt power delivery systems can provide nine volts, three amps, but always go for one that actually says it on the back of the box. Now I've got two different USB PDs power supplies here. This first one I got off eBay and it was 22 Australian dollars. So probably something like 15 US dollars. And it's been awesome. I gotta say this is dead quiet. Doesn't make any extra noise. Doesn't get hot and it works beautifully. And it doesn't come with a USB-C cable, which we'll talk about in just a moment. The latest one I bought was from Comsol. I actually picked this up today because I needed a second one. And this has all the same specifications as this one. So if you wanna spend a little bit more on a brand name, you can go for the Comsol. I'll link this one below. But if you just wanna save a few bucks, you can get a couple of these for about the same price as one of those. When it comes to buying a good USB-C cable, I recommend getting one with a right angle connector. And this will be the one that connects to your camera. And the opposite side will go directly into the power delivery charger just like that right so that will go into here and the reason you want the right angle connector is that it will sit flush to the camera body and there won't be any excessive movement and it clicks in there beautifully this cable is from a company called fazgear i paid for all of this stuff it's not sponsored as well so if you want this 10 foot cable i'll link it down below as well these are awesome they've got a real kind of cotton braided kind of feel to them they don't tangle up easily and they're far longer and they're better quality than a lot of the cables you'll find just from your local office supply shop for example so get a good long cable one that will give you enough reach so you can move the camera around without having to re-plug in the power supply to another wall outlet. So that's been my rig for the Sony FX3. I would have loved to have used some dummy batteries with this camera, but being that the camera doesn't have any compartment door there for the cable to hang out of, it's a bit of a downer, but this will work without any problems at all. And the USB-C port has been robust and sturdy so far. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.